Hello and welcome to Newmarket and Fergus in County Clare. We are delighted to be offering for sale one of the rarest homes to come on the Newmarket and Fergus property market and this is certainly a home that few knew even existed. As you approach the property you are approaching it along this long private avenue which is nicely tarmacked, has your mature hedgerows at each side and as we get closer to the property you'll see exactly why this home is appropriately named the White House. So from this angle I am looking back down the driveway and turning the camera around you start to get a good feel for what's in store as you move ever so closer to this amazing property. The current owners have meticulously maintained this home with nice lawned areas exposed dry stone walls, your wonderful mature trees. You have two paddocks on the left and another on the right, all with your post and rail fencing, nicely gated. A really stunning home and what a really stunning welcome to this fantastic family residence in the heart of Newmarket and Fergus just a short distance to Jamolan Castle Estate and Golf and Country Club. Easy access to the M18, linking you on to Shannon, Ennis, Galway and indeed Limerick. A very rare opportunity to come on the County Clare property market. And if you're impressed with the outside, as we continue around this video tour, it gets more impressive as we continue along. To the right hand side here, you have your brick, almost 10 foot uh, high boundary wall, with your automated door leading to a fantastic courtyard, which you'll see very shortly. But just look at this for a setting. With all amenities on your doorstep, would you have ever thought that this would come to the market offering so much potential in, in what is already an exceptional all-round package. As you approach the front door you can see the porchway nicely stepped up with your flag flagstone onto the entrance doorway with your lighting at both sides. Very very nicely done and very well presented. As you continue around the property, we head towards the private gardens to the side and rear, all of which are manicured and so well maintained and so well presented. This leads to the, to the yard, which has your four stables, all concrete, again, post and rail fencing. And that le leads onto the front paddock here. And that's something that we'll leave the inside for on your private inspection. Swinging the camera around again, you can see these wonderful lawned areas, which are mature shrubs, railway sleepers, your crazy paved pathway via the arch, which leads to another extensive patio. A nicely covered patio here to the right. And just look at those gardens. A great place to relax, unwind and enjoy this remarkable home. From that double or from that sliding gate that I mentioned out the front with the brick um, boundary wall leads into this courtyard here. Nicely private, very very secure, all your wall mounted lighting and that leads into a double space garage which has ample storage for family living and of course you have additional overhead storage there as well along with another storage here to the right hand side so overall a very very nice nicely presented exterior of the home so let's go and take a look at the interior So on entering the entrance hallway, you are greeted by this stunning staircase 
that wraps around up onto the first floor via two levels and this is void to the first floor with your wraparound balustrade from the first floor landing which leads to a rear hallway and to the master bedroom but a very spacious entrance hallway with your solid maple timber flooring and a great way to enter this stunning home. Off this main reset, off this main entrance hallway, the door to the left is into the formal reception, and the door here to the right into the second reception room. We'll take a look at the first one and just show you the, the how the property flows, and really the spacious, bright, and well proportioned living accommodation on offer. So entering this magnificent main reception room. It's a vast open plan space with the solid fuel open fireplace which has the stove inserted. You have your wood surround, cast iron insert and polished flag. Great windows providing natural light. And this has the views onto the rear garden and enclosed patio via the sliding patio door. And this further connects into that formal dining here that we'll go into very shortly, which further connects into the kitchen. But overall, a really fabulous, very nicely presented main reception room with your coving and so on. Just a, a closer look at that fireplace. Great detail and a very high-end finish. Coming off of this room, you're into the formal dining room. And again, a really fab space has the piano area here to the left hand side, that double connecting doors leading back into that main reception. You can really appreciate the size with the amount of furnishings that are in here with great light fi fixtures and your decorative ceiling coving with your rose feature here. Coming straight off of your formal dining, you're into the kitchen breakfast. And again, what a space this is. With your modern built-in wall and base units, your usual integrated appliances. Nice country feel to this kitchen with the tiling, the style of tiling and the style of, of, of built-in units. And of course you have your Stanley oil-fired range presented here, exactly what you'd expect to see in your typical country home with the over mantle, just adding that real countryside feel A really nice space to enjoy as a family and of course that connects again to the rear patio via the door, glass door there to the end of the dining area. Connecting from the kitchen is another corridor. This leads into the games room and utility which we will leave for your on-site viewing and here you have your ground floor WC again very nicely done nicely proportioned. It's worth noting that that games room and utility are Pretty much close in the same size as that first reception I showed you, um, so no shortage of space. So there's a great flow to this home. As I, just to recap, you have your kitchen, dining room here to this area. You're then into the formal dining, which further connects via those double doors into that main reception. So reversing back off the kitchen is into the second of your reception rooms and this is via double doors here and again set out by its current owners as a library style room with your shelving units built in down to the end wall there with base storage a nice bay window looking on to those amazing front views And if you wanted to place another fireplace in here, you can do so with your ceiling to floor brick feature here to the corner. And that is pretty much ready for the insertion of a solid fuel stove, I should say. So let's take a look at the first floor and see what you make of that. So arriving at the landing, this is a nice layout. You have the sweep around landing that runs to the rear corridor and to the left here is into the master bedroom and this master bedroom is really a phenomenal space 
It's a room that is full of natural light, fantastic views over the lands that you own, seating area here to the front, a really nice place to wake up to in the morning. A real credit to the owner in how this home is presented, has been maintained. Really is spectacular. From the master bedroom, you're into a very smart idea that the current owners did. Rather than having a separate walk-in wardrobe and ensuite, they open planned this. Now it could be subdivided again if you wanted to do so by placing a wall just here between this floor and your tile so that you'd have your built-in are you and, and these are included in the sale, they're built-in wardrobes here to the right hand side, and then you're into your fully equipped ensuite, which has your B-Day, low level WC, very nicely finished built-in sink unit with overhead exposed shelving, and then you have your shower tray nicely tucked away. And that's a double tray shower tray, it looks smaller than it actually is, but that's a double tray in there. So back into this master bedroom again. Look at that natural light and of course those views. So straight across the corridor and in under the arch here, we're in two, three more bedrooms and your main bathroom. Very nicely appointed room again. We won't spend too much time in these because we'd like you to have a better feel for the property when you come and look at it. Uh, in, in person but you're into your bathroom here swinging around showing you the wash and basin and tiling but as I said you certainly get a far greater appreciation for the property once you inspect it in person so into the another back bedroom here this is a bunk room again great windows this window looking down onto the courtyard and the mature trees and this one looking into the back gardens and then finally, in terms of bedrooms, we have another ensuite here positioned to the front. And again, really nice warm room. Probably my favorite room in the house. And this has those great views, again, out onto those lands and yard. And your main driveway that comes sweeping from that Dromoland Road. Nice and private. What an exceptional home. And your ensuite is positioned just in here. So if you would like further information on the White House in Newmarket and Fergus, County Clare, please feel free to call us on 065-684-0200 or email us info at dngosullivanhurley.com. Thank you for watching.